I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Ducky has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 22-yard line. Louisville's coaches admitted to us that they game plan around this guy. It's kind of different for a wide receiver. It's usually a running back or a quarterback, but he's paid off for him so far. He really has, and I, I found it very refreshing as we travel around the country and, and visit with so many of these players to find a high-profile wide receiver who's a selfless guy. He's a great leader from everything that they've told us. He's a guy that wants to go out there and make sure that the team gets to win first before he gets his catches. It's kind of a rare breed in today's game of college football. Ball, but he's an exceptional player. First guy on the field and the last guy off at practice. Quick throw. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 24. Fires out to his receiver. He's pushed out of bounds at the 31-yard line. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Arwell to punt. He really got a hold of that one. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Out of bounds, right around the 32 yard line. That brings him second and five. You can't block me. You can't block me. By 17. Pulls in the pass and steps out. Pass complete there for about five yards and a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Fires quick. He catches another. Tackle around the 43-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That brings him second and five. And he's hit immediately. Quick throw out to the receiver. So the completion goes for about five yards and a first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. And that one's incomplete. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. Mike 17. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That brings us third and ten. Dangerous pass here, and it falls incomplete. That's just a shame. The receiver did his job. He's able to get a step on the defender, but the ball was underthrown. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. 
What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. the 41. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. It makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. Bradshaw, the return man. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Slings it, and he's tackled right away. They complete that play-action pass, good for seven yards. The play-action throws the defense just long enough for the quarterback to get the ball to the receiver. Nice play. And now he's got room to run. And he is drilled at the 48. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Nearly intercepted. Number four, the intended receiver of the play. That makes it second and ten. Ball on the 48 yard line. Mike 17, Mike 17. Fires incomplete. yard line it's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it and he's leveled at the 47 great stand by the defense and they get it back for their offense and the defense looks like they were expecting option on that play great job to pin them up and cause the turnover on downs They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Tackle made around the 33-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 37-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it 37. Up the middle for a nice game. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Louisville could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 3 nothing, Louisville. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 19. He's got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, 
not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. He steps out around the 22-yard line. the first down steps out of bounds around the 36 yard line not a lot of offense in quarter number one but nonetheless we've got a close game Louisville leads it three nothing and we welcome you back to the action here and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's tackled at about the 45. That's good for a game of nine yards. That'll make it third and one. Quick strike, and he drops it. Tinsley was the intended target on the play, and that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Haggerty awaits the snap. And he's tackled at the 26. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Louisville is up by three. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. They'll bring him down around the 25-yard line. That'll make it fourth and ten. Harwell is the punter. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Down at the 41. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to come up with a sack. It's now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. Quick pass. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. And well, waiting the return.
He's tackled at the 21-yard line. Louisville's team, when you look at them, I think they got to be happy with how versatile they can be because they do have a star that is not having a star-type game right now, and yet they got the lead here and they're almost in halftime. Yeah, I think they've really shown their versatility as an offense. Uh, to think that we would be sitting here close to this first half being over and to see that their go-to wide receiver is not putting up these big numbers and yet they still have the lead just tells you a lot about their coaching, the in-game adjustments, and the way the rest of the teammates of this receiver stepped up. Louisville holds a field goal lead. Nice run up the middle. That makes it seven and six. And he's taken down at about the 47 yard line. him down in the backfield. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really is nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. From midfield, it's second down. He's on the run. Tackle right around the 44-yard line. He makes it out to about the 41 yard line. That makes it fourth and four. It's up. So the freshman kicker is unsuccessful this time. So our count is still 3-0 Louisville. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Four yards on that play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. He goes out of bounds. The 48-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Fights forward to about the 49. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. Punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Louisville is up a field goal. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. We've got a great game here, folks, as we reach the end of the first half. 3-0, Louisville.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard-nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast-paced, up-tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Boy, I hope the second half is as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Louisville's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. to the left and they wrestle him down behind the line. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Going long. And he's got it. Going the other way now. Bounces off a would-be tackler. And he tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Louisville has a three-point lead. Gets out to around the 32. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. From the 32-yard line, second down. Tackled after positive yardage. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Inside the 10, huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. They give to the tailback. Nice run, and he's brought down. That brings him second and goal. And down he goes, around the four-yard line. That makes it third and goal. And he's tackled at the eight. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Louisville is up by three. He gets it up, and it's good. And it looks like...
looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Looks to the back and can't connect. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 34. a great tackle at the 44-yard line. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Caught, and he's hit immediately. So he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Here they come. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Kicks away. And it falls short. No good. Well, they leave three points on the field there. So the score is still 6-0 Louisville. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. Louisville up six. Big opening. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. Go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And they finally bring him down at the 20-yard line. Throws incomplete. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Nice run there. Touchdown, Cardinals! Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
It was a seven-play, 59-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 18-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 17. Throws in the middle. Tackle made right around the 26 yard line. That's good for a game of nine yards. Third down. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Number 12 on the tackle at the 44 yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. 17's Mike, Mike 17. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gets rid of it quickly and that was almost picked. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. Haggerty to punt. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Louisville's got a 13-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Robbins, the ball carrier. He's to the 40. Knocked out of bounds at the 44. Down around the 47 yard line. That makes it second and eight. And they make the stop at around the 48 yard line. That makes it third and seven. And he throws it away. Harwell is the punter. Not a bad return. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Gaining five yards. That brings him second and five. Moses gets it on the inside. Tackle around the 29-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That was a great tackle. The defender seemingly came out of nowhere and put a big hit on the ball carrier. Throw 
throws. Incomplete. They got a hand on it. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Slings it. Gets it. He's in space. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Well, if there's one thing I learned in this game, it's to never count a team out. There's still enough time on this clock for these guys to come back and win this game. Got it and brought down immediately. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Quick strike, and he drops it. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Less than three minutes in the game. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's taken down at the 12-yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. Looks to the end zone. Superb effort, and really, when it matters most, these guys don't want to give up points so easily. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. There he goes. And he's tackled in the open field. Play and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Hill Tappers. So they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. So an 11 play, 78-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Western Kentucky gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And he just got drilled. Oh, here we go, Herbie. You gotta love it. Final few minutes, it's crunch time. Love to get into the fourth quarter with the game still yet to be determined. We'll find out who's gonna make a play to win this thing. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Run play and he'll lose yards. The defense was all over that draw play. And they got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 24-yard line. Got it to his man on the screen. They'll bring him down right around the 30. That screen gets around six. The Hilltoppers are going to call their second timeout. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes around the 34-yard line. The screen is good for four. The Hilltoppers using their third and last timeout. Bradshaw, the return man. And this one is a beauty. He fields a punt at the 20, and he's tackled at the 30-yard line. The Hilltoppers have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the board. There's a strike complete. He's down. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 34. Mike 17, Mike 17. 
He throws it. The senior makes the catch. That makes it first and ten. Just throws this one away. From the 37 yard line, it's second down. A little over a minute in the game. And got him! Touchdown, and we've got a tie ball game. Kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. He makes the PAT. Western Kentucky is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26. Louisville staff know that they've got a guy in a crucial situation that can maybe make the difference in the ball game, but you can't just rely on him alone. Yeah, you got a real difference maker lined up on the outside. The defense knows that. You know they're going to tilt their defense, the secondary especially, towards him. It's going to open up some opportunities for other wide receivers and maybe even running backs out of the backfield to be able to make plays. Get to that quickly. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. And he's hit immediately. That'll bring up second and 12. Screen to the receiver, nothing doing. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Third and long. This defense digs in here, and it could be their ball game. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. We have less than a minute to go. Set! 10 20! 10 20! Uh, alert, alert! Lion, lion! but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Makes it out to about the 19. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Louisville will take their second time out of the half. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Louisville's called their final timeout. Takes a knee. Louisville staff and really this entire team I'm sure is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.